We are watching for damaging winds, even a tornado and flooding rains, especially in these areas in pink here where we have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect through 10 o'clock on Monday. Notice how Atlantic, Cumberland, and Cape May counties are all not in this watch. I do agree with it. This came from the Storm Prediction Center, which is in Norman, Oklahoma. I do think the biggest risks are generally to our north and west. Let's take a look at our severe weather threats as we go into this evening. It's the flooding rain that I'm most concerned about. But again, this is going to mainly be in places like Salem County or in Northern Ocean County. Not so much in Cape, Cumberland, and Atlantic here. Just in case we get into a tornado warning. And again, it's unlikely. If you're in a vehicle, head to the closest permanent building. If you're in a mobile home, do the same here. Seek shelter on the lowest floor of your home or building and make sure you get away from windows. You want to put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. The reason why we have this potential for flooding rains and even some severe weather is this chart right here. This is a look at the amount of water in a column of air. In other words, they're called precipitable water values. Most of it is actually off the sea just to our south, but there's a little piece that has broken off and pretty much fed right up into New Jersey and into New England, and that's helping to spark uh, this tropical air mass that we're having that's bringing these showers and storms. Here's a look at our future cast. This is 6 o'clock. This is 7 o'clock. Notice how it's still mainly to our west. Another good thing, too, is that the later in the day these storms come, the less of an influence from the sun there is, the less unstable the air is the more stable the air is so by the time we get towards 10 o'clock we're mainly just talking about some showers that come through they can still bring some heavy downpours but it's not going to bring that risk of severe weather that we would see along the turnpike quarter and even in places like Plumstead or Jackson Township here's a look at our radar with the unstable air to give you an idea of what I'm talking about again notice those greens along the shore here that's a low amount of unstable air and that's only going to decrease as we go on into the evening and as these st showers and storms move on through. So not much of a risk when these come through at 9, 10, or 11 o'clock. But the further west you are, the greater risk. The other story, the heat. We got up to 90 degrees at Atlantic City International Airport on Monday. We should get to 90 again on Tuesday here. Look at our heat indexes for Tuesday. In the 90s for most places inland, that's not bad. We see this often during the summer. Wednesday, though, upper 90s as you make your way inland here. And as we go into Thursday, looking at the 100s, and we could be talking about a heat advisory in effect for Thursday here. And even into Friday as well, we are talking about heat indices in the 90s here inland. Even the shore staying above average here, generally in the mid to upper 80s during this spell. So we have some heat safety tips for you. Stay in the air conditioning as much as possible. Avoid outdoor work and exercise between 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Stay hydrated, drink water, even when it feels like you don't have to, and keep your pets cool as well. So for tonight, here's a look at our numbers. Falling through the 70s as the night goes on. Overnight lows, only in the mid-70s here. That's a muggy night, more like Florida rather than South Jersey. Going into Tuesday, 92 inland with the heat index in the mid-90s. Over at the shore, we'll have a pair of eights. Your hair cast. For Tuesday, we'll go with curly hair here. Our dew points will be in the upper 60s, although we're going to get more into that frizzy and ponytail weather for Wednesday and Thursday here. Just to let you know, on Monday, dew points generally in the low 70s. Tuesday night will also be in the low 70s for low. We'll have a clear sky here across the area. And then here's a look at our inland seven-day forecast. You see those 90s going all the way until Sunday. If we do that, that is an eight-day stretch of temperatures at or above 90 degrees. That would be our longest heat wave since 2018 and something that's only happened about 15 times since records first started at Atlantic City International Airport in 1944. Over at the shore, we're going to be in the mid to upper 80s. The winds are generally going to be southwest. We do get a sea breeze with that, but it's not a strong cooling sea breeze. So We'll talk about mid, again, to upper 80s. If you are in Long Beach Island or in Seaside, it does look like temperatures there. A little bit cooler should be in the low 80s. Well, more details for you on the storm risk and the heat risk. Go to our website, pressofac.com for the latest. Follow me on social media. We'll be chatting with you there as well.